Hey guys, David. This is Express Auto Transmission. We like to play with transmissions here and we like having you guys here watching our videos. So thank you guys for watching. Welcome back. We're gonna go see what's on the bench today. The idea behind that is to get as much oil to the fourth clutch as quick as you possibly can. And we've got a beautiful vacuum. This ain't the shop. You lied to me, said we were going to the bench, but that's all right. Guys, we're gonna do something different because, well, we're always in there. It's, I don't know if you can see by my squinting eyes and how bright it is, but it is, it is nice outside, so. We got this Chevrolet Silverado in here, 94 model. And this actually belongs to a friend of mine. I've known this guy since I was yay big or so, somewhere in that region. And that was, that was at least two or three days ago. So he called me and said, hey man, I can't turn my truck off. I'm like, sounds like a personal problem, but I don't know what you called me for. I'm the training guy. And he's like, no, you're fixing it. So he brought it out here and sure enough, you can't turn the key off because the ignition's broke. So. We're just gonna show you guys how Monday is going here at Express Auto and change out an ignition switch. So, here we go. Well, now that we're in here, you guys that have eyeballs and can see, this ignition moves forward freely, but uh, it don't move backwards, so. And the keys aren't there, I don't, I don't know what the hell. I don't, I don't know what he was doing, but he took it, he took it upon himself to try to start this job. And he made it as far as getting the horn off and said, nope, calling David. So we're gonna take it apart for him. We're gonna fix it. Then I'm probably gonna make fun of him for a little while because he can't work on his own truck. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that to the poor guy. I wouldn't make fun of him, but I would definitely, definitely give him hell for it. So we are using our EverTough steering wheel and lock plate remover kit here. First, we gotta get the steering wheel off. The only reason we're using this one in particular is because, well, it was handy and I knew where it was at. I've got a fancy Matco one out there that is way, way different than this kit. I'm not saying Evertef makes a, a junk kit, but this kit sucks. So, but I didn't feel like digging for it. So we're just gonna take it apart with this kit. Oh, it's a set of bolts that actually fit down in the hole. I think it's these ones. Put our steering wheel puller on here get the horn button out of the way if you guys are doing this on your own don't forget to uh, disconnect the battery because that's something you're always supposed to do this doesn't have an airbag that's gonna fly out and hit me in the face but still yet it could be a problem if you don't disconnect your battery and do like so and like so make sure our bolts are even and then I'm thinking while we got this thing off here, we're gonna we're gonna modify it for this gentleman. He's uh, 65 or so years old and likes to play golf and stuff. I think he needs a chain link steering wheel put on here before it leaves. But I don't know. We'll see if I see if we've got one laying around the shop we can afford to give away. Maybe put a quick quick link steering wheel on here. Holy pickles. We're already this far in. I thought it'd take an hour to get this deep. Uh, we'll put this guy on here. Put this guy on there. Bada boom, bada bing. Bob's your uncle. Yep, I forgot a wrench. Better go grab me a wrench for that guy. All right, now that we got us a, a, a wrench that fits. ran down there like a soul just weld the wrench on there make that the steering wheel that's a good idea yep. I like that just just give him a permanent wheel now I gotta get this little wire ring off I know what you guys are thinking this is a transmission channel 
What is David doing playing with the steering column? Well, for you guys that own a business, you understand sometimes it's not everything that you want to do, but you get to do it anyways. So we'll get this ring off of here, here in a minute, if I can ever get a hold of it. There we go. Well, I said there we go. I don't know why I fight this ring every time. First one of these I ever done. I was not very smart. I think I was around 19 years old, 18, 19 years old. These things, this, this has been a problem for a long time. I took that ring off there without one of these guys and come to find out there's a big old spring underneath there that will pop pop off if you don't take it off first. Well guys, it's already official. I got ahead of myself again. I forgot to take that outside ring off, so we gotta take this ring off of here because you have to have this ring off to get that ring off, which just seems like a, a redundancy in my opinion, but this is why we, uh, we don't do this every day. We work on transmissions like cool kids. But that's all right. We'll still save the day. All right. Oh no! So we've got our snap ring. We've got our inner ring. We have our outer ring. We have our horn. All right. Now we're getting down to where we can actually do some stuff. Let's take this. Uh, turn signal hazard combination switch. We're gonna take it loose. Pull our screw out of the hazard button. Like a so. There's a spring in there. We don't wanna lose any of that. We're gonna take the return arm off because we don't need it returning while we're trying to do our job here. I'll lay that to the side. Now, I'm gonna get some screws out of here. One, two, and number three. Like so. We're going to grab a, that spring a bit out of the way. Grab our turn signal return cam and move it out of the way. Now we're going to reach down inside of here. We're going to grab this little bitty piece of plastic that has two buttons on it. We're going to remove that. Well, if we can get it to pop out of there. Sometimes they get stuck though. There's a little wire ring on the side of it. Don't want to damage. Well, that piece has already been broke. Well, pickles. We thought we were going to do good. That should be one piece. Now then, I'm going to take out our screw down inside of here, which I believe is a T20. Right here. That is your guide screw. And there's the ignition. Put that back in, and put our safety screw in there to keep the ignition from coming back out. If you guys really want to mess with somebody, you leave that screw out and then they can just take their ignition out anytime they want. By golly, look at that work now. This guy's gonna be living the high life. He'll be able to take his keys out. All right, let's reassemble. All right, so we got this little guy here that's broke which is definitely not good. We are gonna see if we can't uh, find a solution for this real quick, guys, and we'll be right back to stick this thing back together. All right, guys, now that we got our piece back, we can snap that dude in. Oh, I say we can snap it in. Is that right? 
Yeah, that's right. Oh, dude inside of there needs to. A little piece down there that I think lifts. That piece there, yeah, it lifts up. Okay. Just making sure. Put that guy in. Now then, we'll put this back into position and start putting our screws back in. I know, some of you guys probably already know how to do this. That's cool. But there's some guys that don't know how to do this, so might as well might as well learn, right? Try to get my screwdriver to move as fast as our fast forward option works. Now I don't have to speed it up. Good job. I'm a slow screwer, so sometimes you just gotta speed it up. Alright. Now I'll put our springy back in place. Get our arm back in for the turn signal lever. Which can be a little tricky sometimes. But So our transmission, so we're good at tricky. Get this guy back in place like so. Now then we'll put our screw in there and give it the screwies. Beautiful. Alrighty. This little guy. Does that go right there? I feel like that goes right there. What do you guys think? You guys think that's right? Yes. Okay. As long as you think it's right, that's what matters to me. Now we're cooking with peanut butter. By golly. Reach down in here and start these screws in their respective holes so they don't fall out. Go ahead and put our wire ring on. Now, come here. Anytime you pull this wire ring off, it likes to expand, so make sure you give her the squeezies to make sure she's down all the way. Time to get the torque wrench. You guys are gonna do this? Don't use one of these guys. Go grab you a torque wrench. It's the right way to do it. Now that we've got our nut torqued, we're going to put in the last retainer. And for you guys that are wondering what this little horseshoe dude is for, uh, this is actually a safety GM used in the event that that nut does back off. This is supposed to keep the steering wheel from coming off. If it does, cool. If it doesn't, it wouldn't surprise me. But going to hook up our horn wire. Like so. Right, get her back in position and snap her on. Well, let's hook up the battery and see if all this is working the way it's supposed to. We'll be right back. All right, guys, time to find out if this thing, whoa. Well, the steering wheel lock works, so we did something right. All righty. We can drive a truck again. How about you fellers, but this whole being out in the sun thing makes me think we need to go get a drink. So, let's go for a test drive. Oh, poor old Chevy, she didn't even know how to run today. <laughs> We're gonna have to get us a Ford in here. What? I know, well they at least know how to run on a Monday. They're broke on Friday, but they run on Monday. <laughs> how about, no. <laughs> Boy guys, that is a big old beautiful shop. I sure like it. Not, not much, but it's mine. We're out of here guys, see you on the next one.